Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2 now. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Titan Moonfang armor, which I think is an easy win. They win the best armor for the Moonfang, obviously. They have the coolest set. No one can fucking fight me on this. If you try, you're going to lose. And this is coming from a Hunter main. So let's look at the armor. So, real quick. Hunt helmet gives Gundam vibes like hell. I think the legs are fucking beautiful. The cloak is, or the mark is dope as fuck. And I think the arms are the weakest part from the whole thing. And that's not even saying they're bad. I think they just do not, or actually, let me change that. The chest piece is the weakest part. Aside from everything else, yeah, it's dope. So let's start with the helmet, obviously. So the helmet, again, like I said in the last video, the green does not change which is really unfortunate. I would have loved to see like maybe that changes into like a high, like a really high red. But other than that, everything else changes and it looks really cool. So let's look at some of the shaders. Oh God, that's bright as fuck. And it's pure white. There's no gray. There's no nothing. That's pretty wild. Let's look at this one. Looks good. And then, damn, no color on that. Okay. Yeah, not gonna lie, guys, that's one of my favorite helmets for the Titans. They basically make you look like a fucking Gundam. And I don't know if you guys know, but Gundams are cool as fuck. So I would love to use this on my actual setup. But unfortunately, as you guys can see, I have a bunch of armor that I still have to go through because I don't play my Titan or my Warlock as much as I should. So I have not picked up an armor set for them for this season, but I will. That video is definitely coming. <clears throat> so get the arms next. Arms look really cool. I just wish that the arms right here did not have that distressed red because I do think it's on all of the all of the shaders. It's like just a feature, I guess. But other than that, I think the the, sh the shoulder plates are cool. They're not too bulky for me. Uh, but I am a female in this. This Titan is a female, so maybe that's why. But hunt m male Titans. Let me know how big they are in the comments below. But let's, let's see how it's shaders. So this actually might be just because of what shader I'm using. So let's find out. Okay, so it is. That looks really cool, actually. Damn. Look at that gloss. So it is unfortunate that the Car Car Carminica set does that to armor. So whatever. This looks pretty cool. And then let's go with this one, which looks really fucking cool. Okay. Okay. And then, unfortunately, this is the only... I think this is the only one that has something this bad. Because the helmet, sure, the green does not change color. But, you know, it's so small and, uh, that it probably wouldn't bother me that much. The chest piece, however, is really bad. Now, I didn't mention this on the arms, but the arms don't change color on the white here. But white is generally not a bad color to have not be able to change colors. So for that one, I usually... I'm like, okay, white, whatever. I can make that work with everything. But yellow here is pretty fucking bad in my opinion. So that's white as fuck. But obviously you can still see the yellow. You can still see the yellow. And then you can still see the yellow. And it's a really bad tint of yellow as well. I would have really liked it if we could change that color as well. But I mean, that's Bungie, you know, making armor that does not change color because fucking reasons. Let's go on to my favorite. This is actually most likely my favorite piece from the whole armor set. Aside from this part right here, so as you guys can see, right right there where my mouse is, that red does not change color. Or it does change color, but it's only to this red. I would have preferred it if that red piece right here would have changed with the other color, like black. So black, red would have been nice. I don't like that it's not symmetrical. It bugs me, actually. So let's look at the shaders real quick. That looks cool as fuck looks really fucking cool <laughs> uh, that's the shader I already had on it that looks really cool again though I just wish this was not there and then that looks really cool <laughs> looks so cool <laughs> and then last but not least the mark which I think is really cool it's gonna make you look like a fast boy or girl and I like it a lot it's one of my favorite marks uh, very minimal nothing too crazy i will definitely use this on armor sets that have a skinnier 
tone to it so like this legs would be perfect for it if i did not have that rule set so now that i've shown you probably one of my favorite titan armor sets let's look at the trials of the nine armor which in my opinion is just doo-doo for many fucking reasons so first and foremost i don't think it shaders all too well as like obviously the blue there the blue there the blue here do not shader well so i'm not going to shader each each of them but you guys will notice right now let's do carmon carminica so that's a really bad color choice and i don't even see it on the color color uh box so immediately i was like eh, i don't like this at all there's no red on the on the legs or the arms and there's barely red here but there's blue there blue there blue there blue there and blue there so immediately just makes me mad just looking at it let's look at this one real quick again like the choices of color for the chest piece are just very questionable to me uh, pff, again just i think the chest piece is like the worst part from the whole set other than that i'm okay with the like with the armor i think the arms and the legs are probably the best pieces of it obviously because you can shader them differently but if you would ask me to wear all of this i would tell you no because it looks oh, fucking horrible even the arms i don't think shader that well to be honest or the legs i think it's too much so like this one you could barely see the red there but the brown there just really kills it for me but that's more of a carminica problem than anything else so let's look to another one this one again i just i don't think this armor shaders well and it just looks bad it looks really bad sometimes and even here like bright red there but like the dark red here it's just the choices of shaders really bad i really hope that they bring back the ornaments for the trials armor but i would highly fucking doubt that would be a thing don't get me wrong i would love it but i think the trials people would be mad about that <laughs> so yeah if, obviously you guys probably know that i just love this set i think this set is probably the coolest set in the game not gonna lie i will show you guys like some of the pieces that i'm thinking about combining it with it will most likely be something like this something like this would be pretty cool maybe different chests only because i've already used this chest piece not this one specifically but one that looks like it so it'd probably be this i think this would probably be the thing i go for it looks really cool i would obviously try to do with the helmet but i would be breaking my rule but dude there's just so many options that i would be able to do with it i think the titans win this round for the armor it just looks so fire and if you try to tell me i'm wrong then i mean like you can tell me you can try to tell me in the comments below but you know no i'm not wrong this shit looks fire i would probably change the shader like i think the gift of the nine looks really cool what the fuck that's so bright but yeah it looks cool obviously change the chest and that's really it i think the chest piece is just the weakest part not like geometry or anything like that it's just the color the yellow color really fucks up with everything else other than that dude i would highly suggest you get the armor it's so cool especially with transmog coming in the next season or i mean not next season it's not coming next season we don't know when this is coming out but it is coming out so i'm excited what do you guys think about the armor let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it and the warlock is up next i'm still deciding whether or not to just do the video outright because uh, you guys pro don't probably know this about this but let me show you guys anyways my warlock is missing two pieces but warlocks you probably would agree with me when i say that these two are probably the weakest part pieces of the set so i don't think you guys would know mind if i use just the the chest piece the arms and the helmet to just showcase everything else because let's be frank the bond gaka and the legs are just their legs they're never usually important so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below i'm definitely probably gonna do the dungeon today before i do the video for the warlock so that way i can just have another piece 
I hope I get the legs, mostly because, again, I don't think the Moonfang Bond is that worth it. I'm still going to get it, obviously, but, yeah. Other than, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, la 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 jargon. Be safe, be healthy, guys. You know what's happening in the world. Just, you know, make sure you and yours are safe and healthy. And other than that, I will see you guys later.